A really big nickel. It is a big nickel, but not as big as the road trip we're about ready to do. Manitour, Moonbeam or bust. Here we come. This cache is a challenge. Yep, the first cache we have to go to, it's a challenge cache. And we have a coin with a bit of a story. But first... Let's go find the cache. Yeah. I think I found it. It's, it's around this way over here, just uh, around the pond. Sitting out in the open. There it is. This is a nice spot. It is kind of a cool little place to sit. Ooh, sunglasses. Sunglasses. Oh, and there's trackables. There's a fair bit of trackables in there. That one looks like it's new. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, don't show the code. I don't think you could see it. So we've got the log. You're going to sign us in. Oh, and there's. A pack of camping and such central emergency blanket, a pull cord, and a pin, five cents ESO card. You were telling me about the uniqueness of this cache. Yeah, this one is one you can't put this kind of challenge out anymore. Why not? Be after the moratorium, they added challenge checkers to all of the challenge caches. Right. But this one came out before the moratorium, so you didn't need to have a checker. But this one requires you to place into the cache a coin that has at least 10,000 kilometers wow. registered on it. That's a lot. Yeah. The CEO would have to have a, this shareable code from the TB that you're dropping into the cache mm -hmm. in order to check its its mileage to make sure that you are placing one that is more than 10,000 kilometers. So it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. I didn't think we'd be able to do it because I didn't think we had one. But we just picked one up in our last uh, adventure a few weeks ago, a, a trackable that had been missing for... Seven, Seven years. years. Yeah. So after our Sandy Lake adventure a few weeks ago, we stopped at a TB hotel on our way home and we found this trackable coin. And this is spectacular. It's a year 2012, year of the dragon coin. Now what's interesting about this coin is it had gone missing for seven years. Just prior to us picking it up, the person that had picked it up previously uh, dropped it off in the TB hotel and told the story. Well, let's let her tell the story of what can happen to a trackable coin and how they can go missing. This is one possible way. Well, where do I start? I found this lovely Year of the Dragon in a cache in South Island, New Zealand. I'm not sure where. I thought it was pretty and something to keep because I never saw any trackable letters on it. I have kept it safe. Tonight, when looking at our geocaching box, I found it. And then with glasses on, I realized it had letters engraved on the side and is a trackable. I cannot apologize enough, but now we have to put it back into circulation. Since I picked it up, we've moved to Ontario, Canada. I will find a very suitable cache to put it in so that it can start traveling in Canada. Sincere apologies to Strecho, who took this trackable wide and far. He may remember us and know that we were geocaching novices at the time. I thought only mad people did things like this, and I have joined that club. I'm glad it wants to travel the world because Canada is a long way from Queensland. So I picked that coin up, and I'm going to drop it into this cache. Now, in order for Lyriclass to qualify for this challenge, she'll need to pick that coin up and then drop it into the cache as well. So it's going to stay here, but it's going to travel hardly anywhere. <laughs> so I've electronically dropped the Dragon Geocoin into this cache so that I can now qualify for the challenge. 
Now what I'm going to do is use one of my caches and one of uh, my trackables to show you how to do it in both CGO and the geocaching app. Touch the three dots in the top right hand corner and I hit log visit. I write a note to the cache. I'm going to be dropping a TB. And I find the TB, which is Cache Canada. So I'm going to click Cache Canada Leaf for Adventure. And I'm going to say dropped off. And please, if you see other trackable codes that I've, I'm showing there, go ahead and log them. That's okay, I don't mind. And then once I've got it in and I've clicked um, dropped off instead of do nothing, I click the little triangle to the right and it will log that cache and drop the trackable into the cache. The geocaching app is a little bit different in the way it does logging trackables. If I go to log the cache, it doesn't give me the same option as CGO does. It does it a little bit differently. So let's take a look. If I want to drop that same trackable into this cache that I'm at, I scroll down to where it says trackables, and then I click yours, and I see Cache Canada Leaf for Adventure. And I'm going to hit log, then I type in the code for the trackable, and I have a few options. I could visit uh, the cache with that trackable, I could drop, or I could write a note to the trackable owner. So in this case, I'm going to drop the trackable, and I write a little note, TB drop, and then I post. So we've showed you dropping the trackable in both the geocaching app and CGO, but what we're going to do now is to show you picking up a trackable using both apps. From the cache page, scroll down until you see trackables. Click on trackables and you should see a trackable in the cache inventory. Click on log. Ensure the trackable number is typed in and then choose one of the four options. Write a note to the trackable owner. Grab the trackable from another location if it's not listed in the cache. Or you can discover it or retrieve it. We're going to retrieve the coin. Write a note, then click on post. The trackable will then be removed from the cache's inventory. In CGO, scroll to the right until you see Inventory. Click on the trackable you would like to retrieve. Click the little pencil. Type in the tracking number. Put a little note. Then click the little right-facing triangle. The trackable will now be in your inventory. So iPhones use Cashly, but we don't have iPhones, but I'm pretty sure it's much the same as either the app or CGO. We want to announce a new Cash Canada patron. Canuck Skier, it's so great to have you as a patron. Yeah, and you could become a patron too. All you have to do is go to patreon.com slash Cash Canada. That's right. We'd love to have you aboard as another Cash Canada patron. Well, let's hope that that helps some people with the trackables. Yeah, and a little bit of an explanation on challenges as well. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed this little bit of adventure and look forward to more because in the next several weeks, we've got a lot of adventures coming from Northern Ontario. Let's keep caching. Keep watching. There's more caches to be found. Yep. Where will geocaching take you?